So today we're having a very impromptu segment uh, with some folks. I'm going to be joined by several folks from the Cultural Forces, a collective of Ukrainian musicians representing the armed forces of Ukraine. Uh, they're on tour here in the United States and are performing at LPAC next week. Uh, they're only New York City performance. It's a free event, but you do have to RSVP, and it's going to be on the 29th. And I'm going to start the show by uh, speaking to uh, Mikolai Sierga, who is a uh, member and founder of the Cultural Forces. Welcome. Hi. Michael. Very Hi. Good pleasure to be here. To hear you and so we you're coming to us from our nation's capital right you're in uh you're in washington dc yeah yeah yeah. we we have our first days of trip here in dc we have a lot of performances here and we're working in the congress with the congressman we just come to their rooms uh sing there play them and uh impressing them so it's it's very interesting i uh I think uh, Congress never heard something like that. <laughs> and you are a tangible uh, evidence of uh, what's going on as far as U.S. support for what, you, what what's going on in your country right now, trying to support your government. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about about uh, the, the cultural forces, the collective. Uh, cultural forces, it's unique collective. Uh, uh, why it's unique? Uh, because uh, every talent is unique, and we are uh, the group of talented people. Different tal talented people with uh, romantic mood, with romantic behavior. Uh, because everybody of us uh, joined the army in the beginning of the war. I joined the army on the second day of the war, because first day I need to create a psychologic battalion. Uh, the group uh, of psychologists who are helping civil people uh, to work with their stress uh, after the Russian invasion. Uh, and on the second day, I joined the uh, army forces, uh, I joined the infantry. And uh, maybe in two weeks after that, I understood that it's too big stress of, uh, of the people, of the soldiers who was with me. And we need uh, to work with that. And I understood how to work with that because before that, um, I uh, I worked with the uh, uh, um, uh, about twelve year. Uh, I learned psychology, and about fifteen year I was in uh, show business in uh, in cal cal culture sphere of my country. Uh, in Russia too, so uh, I was the head of TV show about traveling. It was the most popular travel show in Ukraine and in Russia too. So everybody in Russia knows me. And uh, uh, so I connected these types of stuff and uh, uh, understood how to work with the art uh, to increase the moral state of the people. And I begin to work with my soldiers who was with me in my military unit. Then another military unit began to invite me. Uh, and then I understood that it's a lot of soldiers, but it's not a lot of us. And I began to search for the, for the artists in, uh, in army, whom we can take and who can work with moral state of the soldiers. And at first it was four of us, then it was 10 of us, then we create one more group, it was 27 of us, and right now we are about 80 soldiers and about 40 volunteers inside our organization. We have eight groups uh, of uh, cultural forces who work on different uh, pieces of the front line. Uh, so five of them straightly on the front line and work uh, under the bombs. Uh, one group working with the people in hospitals and rehabilitation centers and uh, one group working with the families of uh, died soldiers with their children with their wives and one group it's international group uh, so they are here you see there it's Toler, he's bandura player and i will give him phone uh after me it's olga rukavishnikova she is wild are we losing have we lost uh 
we've lost phone and audio connection folks so hold on let's see if they come back yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Wait, you're back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Uh, so, on what moment you uh, stop hearing me? Uh, I think you were you had you were talking about who's going to be speaking to me next. Ah, it, it's Taras Toler. He is Bandura player. He's the best Bandura player in Ukraine, and he uh, was uh, one and a half year in intelligence, in territorial defense. Uh, uh, Olga Rukavishnikova, she she's uh, close to him, stands the girl without one eye. She loses her eye uh, in fights and combats. She, she's a violin player. She has master degree in violin. She's a symphonic conductor and she has black belt in karate. And from the 24 February of 2022, uh, she became a soldier. Infantry, uh, first machine gun, then rocket launcher. So she's amazing. And she's an amazing player. <laughs> yeah, it's really like that. You, so we have, you we, are, yes, you are quite the, what, quite the force. Yeah. <laughs> Not well, cultural, but also, uh, yeah. you know, defense in defense. Yeah, so, so, that, so uh, uh, th 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 that's why we can uh, be on the same position with the, with the soldiers, with the guys there. They believe us. It's not kind of civil uh, artist comes there and speaks with them. No, we know about what they think and we know their values. We know the right words. So that's why it's very helpful. We, we have uh, somewhere here, it's Yuri Ivaskevich. He's in the car. Yuri Ivaskevich, he was opera singer before the war and she uh, became a soldier on 24th of February. 2022 and then he, he was in infantry and he lose his leg on the mine uh, uh, after, after the bomb attack and right now he is with protest and he's sing, he singing amazing and you know he is he has big smile he's 50 52 years old so uh, so that's why uh, this team uh, I told you that we work in Congress when we come inside and then everybody impressed because they see that it's not like fake soldiers. It's real soldiers with real combat experience who was injured, uh, whom you, you look in, in their eyes and you see that they was on the war, but they, they won the war in their hearts and they came back to their art. It's very important. And, it's like uh, they're fighting with thing. art, right? Yeah. It's like they're and fighting they, with yeah, their art. And, and you know, uh, because art is the uh, fix, uh, fix of uh, of the act of the act uh, the victory uh, life uh, life won in the fight with death. So that's why art is always about life because uh, the 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 artist can die, but his art didn't die, and he still work in other hearts heads hearts. You can uh, listen the songs of right. uh, Frank Sinatra, of uh, Kurt Cobain, but and it will be forever for for a long, long, long time, much longer than us, and that's important. And it that's on. why it's about the cultural forces. Well said, Mikolai. I, you want other people to speak to me? Maybe we can turn yeah, it over because we're we're of about course. ten minutes in. Taras Stoller. Take. Speak your oh, sorry, yeah, so yes. yes oh no no so I guess I would go back to so uh, Taras Stolier you he uh, Mikolai kept saying that you play a certain instrument but maybe you could say it again how do, what pronounce what what instrument is it that you play uh, instrument is oh there it is. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. This typical Ukrainian instrument, it came from, I think, about 11th century. Uh, now it's uh, a lot of modernized, uh, much modernized than that ancient times, but uh, now we, a lot of people play Svandura in Ukraine. And you carry this thing around, you go to the front with this device? Or is this uh, just for the for Congress? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Normally, this is my concert bandura. It's quite uh, um, uh, fragile. Right. So for the front line, I have another one. It's um, it has not too, too too good sound like this has, but right. it can keep the rain, snow, mud, and and so on. So. Do you want to play? Do you want to just play a few notes for us so we can hear what it sounds like? <laughs> I try because normally I use two hands, but that's beautiful. So, how did how did you get involved with the cultural forces? Um, I went the first day of the full invasion to the army and uh, was a ordinary, uh, normal soldier. Uh, I was in intelligence, I think it's called so. So we did, uh, we used drones to uh, find uh, Russian positions. And uh, we also uh, went by our foot, uh, so walk there. And uh, I did uh, about almost two years there. And uh, after a little <clears throat> injury, I uh, couldn't do my best. And Kolya uh, was looking for a bandurist because bandura is not only a very nice instrument for Ukrainians, it's also a part of history, a big part of history. And that's why Kolya uh, thinks Kolya wants to have bandurists in every group of cultured descent on the front line. And he was looking for a bandurist and I, uh, <clears throat> I went to culture courses and now this about half year almost half year I've been a part of. All right. And so uh, how has been, been the reception uh, in the United States? How did the, how did the congressmen receive you? Mikolai was talking a little bit about this. But uh, how did they respond when they saw you playing this beautiful instrument? <laughs> uh, it's uh, not unusual. It's everywhere. So Bandura is really a very nice instrument and everybody likes it so and we try to i try to play ukrainian music especially Ukrainian music and also i uh, play covers uh, like metallica or sting or uh, queen <laughs> yes and when people uh, can understand can uh, listen to the uh, music they know it's a uh, very very pleasure pleasant for them i think so we do twice. Uh, we bring Ukrainian culture here and we bring uh, world music on our instrument. So what's some one thing that you would like the American people to know and our audience, uh, LaGuardia, to know uh, about the work that you do? And, and I actually to encourage them to come out to see you uh, all perform. Uh, it's coming up this week. Well, it's coming up next week. Uh, on the 29th mm -hmm. at LPAC. Yes, sure. Great. Um, yes, please welcome. Um, we want, and it's uh, our dream, our, um, that's why we are here. We want to present our culture, our music, our language a, lo a little, our songs um, to show who we are, and uh, we're not a part of uh, some another folk. You know, Ukrainians are a nation. We are. We have history and a deep history. I, I can say so, and we have our own culture, our own songs. It's very nice, really, very nice. That's why we we want to show who we are and maybe or of course or we are sure that uh, after that people um, can feel why why it is so why we we are looking we, we ask for uh, support we ask for attention to us um, that's why we are here to be a little um, not so far 
this ocean thousands of kilometers but we we all of our nation all of our people loves the same music and same um, in english so like democracy like freedom and uh, to make your life your own life how do you want not not to listen to somebody who are yes. stronger or i don't know has more money or more, more weapon the pursuit of happiness that's what we call yes. it here uh yes are you holding the phone or is somebody holding it for you uh it's uh, me <laughs> okay because i was going to say i don't know if anybody can hold the phone for you and this time point it down to the instrument and and let's see you play a little bit more before we turn okay, it over to somebody I'll, else I'll is there anybody standing to next to you somebody. who can take the phone okay. <laughs> i don't want to make this too hard <laughs> yeah, just have them hold the phone and point it at your uh, at the Maduro. Uh, phone also. Uh, earphone. Oh no, no, no! I wanted, I wanted you to. Up oh, too late. I had been asking. F Hello. So this. So at this point, I believe I'm speaking to. Uh, hold on. See what it is. Oh, Valerie. Yes, I'm but, trying to find yeah, your phone. He, he's, he's going. He's going to perform for you for for. Yeah, I know. I just wanted him to play his his instrument one more time for us. So you are Valerie Shryokov. Yes, that's me. Hi. I'm passing. I'm passing the earphone back to Saras, and he's going to play for you. I just wanted you to, but I, I was trying to get him to push the. Maybe I'm asking too much. I wanted to see the visual of the instrument while he played the music. Yeah. yeah sure. Oh, very good. Sure. Here we go. Thank you very much. I realize now, now I understand that you have to have the earphone near, the, like set up for the person who's using the phone. So I apologize. Thank you very much for doing that. So, uh, Valerie. Yes. You, what's, what's your role in the cultural forces? Uh, my role in the cultural forces. Uh, I, was, I was invited to be a press, a press attaché so I'm looking after the public relations, uh, dealing with the media uh, for the cultural forces. I come from uh, I come from the electoral field. I work as electoral advisor for the United Nations in Somalia. By the time uh, the war has uh, the war erupted back in 2022, and I'm in the army, uh, Ukrainian army, since 24 since the first day of the of the war. And so, it, was it your idea to uh, to bring the cultural forces here to the United States as part of uh, your project? Uh, it was it was Kola's idea. By the time uh, by the time uh, he uh, he had this idea uh, back in twenty twenty two, I was already on the front line. Uh, so right. I joined. I joined. I literally joined the cultural forces uh one month and a half ago uh directly from the front line all right uh here's a question for you how did how did LaGuardia become a destination for the performance that's going to be happening next week the only new york city performance that's going to happen yeah we have a couple of couple of engagements in new york um first uh, first we, we we were introduced to la guardia through a colleague of ours uh back in kiev and that's the personal connection of kolia uh she is uh, she's a journalist working for um for an american newspaper and uh, and she introduced uh, us to the
and uh, that's how we became uh, if you like uh, friends we 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 introduced the idea and the college uh, the community college was receptive to the idea and that's how we ended up organizing an event for them on the 29th of may so if if folks come to the lpac event what can they expect what will they be seeing what will the event be like uh they will be seeing a lot of emotion they will uh well you can't you probably you can't see the emotion you can feel the emotion you can leave the emotion through uh you can let the emotion pass through your mind and through your body and uh, that's 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 the that's an adventure a travel back to back to a culture not necessarily the audience might be familiar with um through the culture of the people who has been in war with a powerful enemy um and one of our re one of the goals uh, for us to be here uh, is to thank the american people for the support in this uh, in this uh, in this fight um emotions emotions music uh, also talking uh, uh interaction with the with the audience uh, throughout the performance of the of the artists uh and we'll also project uh, uh if uh, we'll also project uh, audio uh, sorry uh, video material and photo material uh, from the front line, uh, from the projects that the cultural forces has implemented uh, in um, at the front line, because a number of our colleagues are back are back in Ukraine. They uh, they do cultural projects for soldiers directly at the front line. All right, you know that uh, we are a very large nation, and to get our nation focused to do some do the right thing is a is a battle in itself uh we're i'm grateful i'm happy that we were able to continue to support you uh yeah we, i think there seen, are those we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of support uh from the regular americans from this from the streets we've seen uh we've been today to the congress and we've seen uh, support from the congressmen and their staff members We've seen a lot of posters in the corridors, down the corridors, by their offices, uh, promoting support for Ukraine. And it's a powerful message to us. Uh, and we've seen, as I said, uh, support from regular Americans. Uh, people on the street just stopped. Uh, they recognized the flag. They recognized the uniforms. And they, they were very welcoming, very welcoming. And that's something that we appreciated a lot. And one of the reasons for us uh, being here is to is to is to is to witness how much America is supporting Ukraine. It is all a message from America to Ukraine. We are with you. We are supporting you till the end of this fight. Yeah, I mean, I I always am fascinated by. I actually had a student who was telling me. That when he graduated, he wanted to go because I know that some Americans have actually gone. Uh, specialists, I think, have gone to try to help, uh, but some I think have even volunteered to fight alongside you. They're supportive. What do I tell my students? Should I encourage that, or should I be discouraging them and tell them to stay <laughs> here and fight for you here uh, right. by continuing to get you funding? I think. I think. Uh... I think the fight should be continued on the educational front. The more people know about about Ukraine, the more people uh, understand the international affairs of the United States uh, globally, not only on Ukraine, is the best thing that they can do at this young age. Uh, staging or disseminating information about the war in Ukraine, how, how much suffering, how much sacrifice Ukraine has been doing is the key message that you can pass to the students uh, going out and working out, working with the voters, uh, voters of their congressmen and their representatives uh, to support Ukraine, to support the, the peaceful cause that Ukraine is trying to make uh, in uh, back home. It, and is, where are you in your in the touring of our country? Is, is this the very beginning stages of it? Or are you in the middle of it or the end? We have just started off. 
Uh, we right. just kicked off from Washington, D.C. Uh, we had a first performance at Ukraine, uh, Ukraine Center, Ukraine House in Washington, D.C. Uh, today, uh, today we're performing at the USAID uh, agency here in Washington, D.C. And tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow, we're heading off to Philadelphia and then to New York, Dallas, Chicago, Detroit, uh, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh. So this time around, we're covering the northern part of the U.S. Uh, and back uh, and soon in, uh, in September and October, there will be another round, another tour, uh, this time around to the south of the United States and covering also the western coast. Uh, just just a quick uh, quick reaction from uh, from uh, from the congressman that we have been able to meet today uh, during our individual meetings. Uh, everyone has been very receptive and very welcoming uh, down the corridors at the hill. And uh, now we have to maybe reconsider the, the the initial plans for for September and maybe include the states, the other states which we didn't uh, didn't uh, uh, include in the first place. Yes, yeah, so it's going to take a lot of a lot of convincing. Uh, we're we're almost out of time because I know you could only do the show for a half hour, so I wanted to right. give you this this last moment. Uh, any last words or anything else that uh, you want to say? Thanks you want to give anything like that. Uh, now, uh, as we speak, we're literally going to, uh, to the uh, to the White House, and we're going to perform just in front of the White House in uh, in uh, Lafayette Garden. Uh, although the weather is is not quite is not quite good, it's raining a bit, but uh, nonetheless, uh, we still we are going to still perform. Uh, uh, Ukraine Ukrainians won't be scared by the rain. <laughs> we're not scared by the war, uh, let alone the let alone the rain. Uh, the key message, the key message of the tour, is to say thank you very much to the American people for, for all the support they have been providing through uh, for these testing times. Uh, uh, please continue doing so. Uh, we are the front line of of the of the humanity fighting the fighting the evil, and uh, we'll uh, we'll certainly win this fight, and with the help of the American people. And uh, sincerely. Thank you so much for everything you have been you have been doing and you will do for Ukraine. Thank you very much indeed. All right. Well, I want to thank you for being on our show. I wish you the best. Uh, I hope you know all your all your performances and here in El Paca. Uh, I don't know if that, I'll be I'll have the, the ability to see the show, but uh, you know, I, I hope do folks invite, come out for you. Mm -hmm. Do invite the students uh, to come for our for our performance on the 29th. Sure of may at, at uh, 5 30 p.m uh come with the family members come with friends come with your pets whoever and the little It'll theater be a nice show absolutely yeah very good and uh for those watching this the show has been what's going on i'm your host hugo fernandez and we had some very special guests today from the cultural forces collective uh, of ukrainian musicians who are representing the armed forces of ukraine uh, they're here in the United States doing a tour, and we'll be performing at LPAC uh, next week on the 29th. It is free, but you do have to RSVP, so look for uh, those announcements. And uh, we're going to take out the show with a little bit more music from uh, my uh, engineer, Mr. Pope. Take us out. Have a good day. See you soon to in New York.